Alrighty folks, my name is Richie, aka Bog Otter, and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 Living World Season 3 episode. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Shadow's Deeds, which is uh, the third instance inside uh, this uh, Out of the Shadows episode. And I'm here with my friend Aurora Peachy, and we're going to jump into a Shadow's Deeds. Let's get to it. Oh, that was too quick. I wanted to see that splash screen more. I know, right? It looks like there are magical scorch marks leading this way. This place looks amazing. Can this be my guild hall? Ah, such no. might! Bye! No. You have mesmer magic on me. You're purple. I gotta say, the sound effects, like the environment sound effects, like in this zone, are just amazing. Yeah, I heard some rumblings and stuff. Is that more environment volume or? Uh, yeah, I would assume so. this place I got to play this again just to screenshot it over and over and over again right so where do we go we're gonna go down go over here oh crap <laughs> I saw you fall right down that hole Bob go down the hole but yeah can we have this for a guild hall please yeah, totally. This would be my guild hall. Here's the arena. Who's there? It's me, Commander. Case. Bennett said he saw you. Are you... Trying to figure out why the explosion reversed itself and the trail led me here. Look at these marks. Could these have been made by a torrent of magic? Possibly. You think something or someone was behind this? Or was it a natural disaster? Seems like an awfully odd natural disaster. You saw what happened, right? I've recently learned to not always rely on my senses. They can... betray you. This pedestal seems to be the nexus of it all. Let's look around and... Tremor! By the bear! By the bear! By the bear! By the bear! Did you it. see that? That bloodstone explosion seemed to trigger some sort of magical echo. I couldn't really tell what was happening. Let's find some more bloodstone and see if we can recreate it. Get a clearer picture. I missed what happened. This could give us an insight on why the blast reversed itself. Yeah, it happens really quick. There was kind of like just like a magical surge down the center onto that pedestal. It's, it's hard to see. These shadows are kind of creepy. It looks like people were like killed. I don't know, were people killed trying to shield themselves from this blast? You see this? You yeah, see? that's what's funny is uh, these are pointed out later in this instance, and I didn't even notice them until they were pointed out, and then I was like, oh my god. They're like marks from people. <laughs> By the way, I don't. Could we have an option not to invite Kate to the guild? Because. <laughs> Because I kind of want you're, to... You're, you're really untrusting of her, huh? She just... She took that egg so many times for me. I want to throw her. Doesn't she know how to use her big girl words and explain what she's doing? <laughs> Come on now. I think I was so mad at her. I didn't even... I didn't even pick her during the uh, Heart of Thorns story. At the end, where you can pick her. Like, I didn't pick you. Alright, um, there's a scrap of paper in here. Did you get that one? I did not. We should get that one. I don't know how to get that one. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Ruvian came for the otter staying for the big big girl words. <laughs> 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 Dragon Tears says, leave it the bog out to make a fart joke out of the shadowed enemies on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That didn't work. No, it didn't. Well, that's, <laughs> I thought it was an updraft. It's actually a waterfall. <laughs> Not the same thing. Not the same thing. How do we get this scrap? This is ridiculous. Oh, there's another one over here. Let me get this one first. This one's easier. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, over here. That's a story step. That's a story step. This appears to be a journal scrap. I was delivering mail today, and a letter addressed to Justicar Bauer may have accidentally opened on its own. I spoke about a mining operation nearby that leads directly under the Bloodstone, and about some sort of ritual they plan to perform. The letter was vague, so I don't know what they are planning, but this Bloodstone barely is held together. I can only assume whatever it is... Maybe the straw that breaks the Doliac's back. Valis has given me no other option. I am forced to go to Justicar Bauer directly. I am only hope he is more reasoner than Grand Savant Valis of the Learned. Kill him! My strength increases! How'd that feel? Ow. Not good. Hmm. Alright, powered bloodstone. How did you end up here? I was returning from the grove when I saw the explosion on the horizon. She's not even here. I wasn't going to leave it uninvestigated. She's not? Good work getting no. this deep into the crater. I see her. Nope. Must have been moving like a shadow out there. It's what I do. It's what I do. She said that she said that all for, forlornly. Uh, it's what I do. Uh, you know, I just murder my own people, you know. I murder other firstborns, that's what I do. That is the mushroom to nowhere? <laughs> what the hell was that? The, it's a dud. It, why is that that's the mushroom to nowhere? You're leaving the instance. They're so angry with me. Um, okay. Kate is still so stealthy, your big Norn eyes can't see her. <laughs> Alright. You wanted her to disappear, so she did. So she did. <laughs> Where are you? I'm you back up top. I'm up back up top trying to get to the stupid piece of paper, but I don't see I, I think somebody said you do it from outside the instance. You have to glide, like, all oh, the way down. Okay, okay. Alright, so my next thing I need to investigate is on the ground? Yeah. No. Yeah, all, all of this stuff is on the ground. Just a bunch of weapons. Are you sure about that? Because they're glowing. It's kind of annoying that I can't see her. That really sucks. Bug! That Did she? Expected. Serious. I'll hold my I told you so. That was a big circle. Refreshing. I got turkey wings, I'm good. Some bloodstone pieces next to the staircase. Guess this is how someone would get down here to do whatever it is our test hopefully reveals. Hmm. I guess I really wanted it to be a natural disaster. I didn't want to think about someone tinkering with so much power. What was your business in the grove? I was visiting the Pale Tree. How is she after Morjomoth's death? Ailing, but recovering. Although not well enough to... Give me the guidance I needed. I'm sorry to hear that. It's... Back to the task at hand. Those explosions expose some more bloodstones. Alright. I guess we'll go get some. Bloodstone our little update on the pale tree. What'd you say? There's our little update on the pale tree. Yeah. Kind of what I figured. Oh no, Veil Guardian! No! He's got a shield. Use your boon stripping. Stop me! I don't have boon stripping. I'm not a stripper. Let's 
still standing. Barely. Alright, that one's done. I just went in a hole. Ah, get me out of there. You can go in there and take a nap. Yeah, let's go take naps. Naps, that was really good. This piece of paper seems barely touched by the destruction. It looks as if someone was taking notes during a conversation or translating a coded message. Trial number 33, complete failure. Received orders to increase output. Results demanded soon or, or what? Or else? The rumbling of dissent in our ranks is unacceptable for research progress. Being pulled in two directions. I want to stay the course and not listen to this new shady influence behind the curtain. Who is the just Justicar getting his orders from anyway? My loyalty is a liability here now. Perhaps I should flee before the rich b rift becomes inescapable. I have to leave my white mantle brothers and sisters, but I will not follow someone who won't reveal themselves without issuing threats so liberally. It's a note. I must have survived in this chest. What's it say? It was the white mantle, all right. Apparently they've been prodding the bloodstone for some time now. But it also hints at some sort of splintering within their group and a divisive leader. It must be Codicus. The Legate Minister? Oh, I should stop by Divinity's Reach more often. I'm out of the loop. We should have killed Codicus in his manner long ago. Yup. Some more bloodstone here. I can't believe this operation was happening under our noses this whole time. This doesn't look good. Oh no. You gotta use your special ability, huh? Yep. So non raiders need to have that action key acted act active. Kill them! They're probably not used to that noise either, that whoop whoop. My strength increases! Let's break his bar if we can. Can't stop me! Oh, that's much easier. Look at me, I got crazy. I'm all red. Oh boy. Ambush! Back up! Back up! Commander, before we go any further, I want to clear the air between us. Here! This is the perfect time. Why would I expect any different? Your timing has always been perfect. See, that's why I have to speak now. I know you're still upset with me. Yes, you have I am every upset. Right to be. I can't take back what happened. But I can tell you I know what I did was wrong. And I'm sorry. My wild hunt, Mordremoth's voice, they were tearing at each other. And sometimes I didn't know which was which. I was very confused. And I felt like the only person I could trust was me. That's the very time you should have leaned on your friends. Don't you see? I didn't know who my friends were. Enemies, friends, even Fowlin, it was all grey. I wish I would have trusted you, but I didn't. And now that's in the past, all I can do is hope you'll forgive me in the future. Kate. You don't have to respond now. I want you to think about it, so your decision is considered. Okay, well, let's see if our little experiment works. And no to the guild. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> And I can't even see her. She's apologizing to me and she's invisible. <laughs> she's scared to come out. She's scared of me. CMA, thanks for the follow. Kira, thanks for the follow. And P4 Bucks, um, thanks for the follow. Travelog says there is a jumping mushroom to the east. Jump up the slope and that lets you reach the scrap. All right, jumping mushroom to the east. Oh, there's one. Fox expected me to have more of a reaction to fighting a jade construct. Well, or jade armor. They already, um, they already told us about that. I, we knew that was coming. One yeah, the, we one, did. They, the they did mention them. In. Squad Bennett said there's jade armor. Yeah, and and you can actually fight them in Bloodstone Fen. So. Yeah. Ready? I'll take care of releasing their magic. Then what? Then, we cross our fingers that we jumpstart the magic echo, and don't blow ourselves to smithereens. 
Oh, there's the jumping mushroom. I forgot. Did you find it? Mm-hmm. Did you get up to the thing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's, mm -hmm. what's your mouth full of? French fries. You have French fries? Mm-hmm. Like frozen French fries made in the oven? Yep, steak fries. Oh, steak fries! Steak fries. Now you're extra jealous. At least they're not tater tots, then I'd be super jealous. All right, here we go. This appears to be a journal scrap. Our long vigil over the stone is giving us important insight. Over time, the stone has grown larger as events excite the magic it contains, much like a balloon expands when it's heated. The stone is nearly three times larger than when we first reclaimed it from the jungle. Even more impressive, crystals have recently begun growing on the exterior of the hole we drilled into the shell. They continue to expand outward. This is a great boon as it made harvesting bloodstone shards that much easier. Alright. Oh snap. What'd you do? I didn't do it, Kate did it. What was that? What happened? Where you were standing, there was only a brilliant light devouring magic. Then some people behind the light didn't look so lucky. These silhouettes. They must have been vaporized by the blast. Who would have done this purposefully? Someone who just absorbed the lion's share of a bloodstone's worth of magic. Could have been Kodakus. I have to find Kanak and warn him. If he's still alive. Oh boy, so somebody's r walking around as like a bloodstone hulk? Apparently. Commander! Are you up there? Sounds like someone's looking for you. I'm Batman. Shining Blade Paratrooper. Oh, she's got the backpack. She's visited a gem store, too. <laughs> Commander, Kadok ordered us to find you. Minister Kadokus is in the area. Ooh. He's alive. I need to tell him about what we just witnessed. Point me in the right direction. Uh, Kate? You know what? I think I'll stay a moment. Maybe poke around some more. Are you sure? Will you be okay? It's fine, Commander. Remember? I'm a shadow. She's a shadow. I can see her again, though. Well, that's going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this Living World Season 3 episode. If you did, please hit that like button before you go. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when future videos are released. I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.